All right guys, so today we're gonna to be taking a look at Trend Micro Internet Security. This is version seven. Now this is a little bit different of a program than what we've been testing lately. Uh, this is a cloud scanner only. And what that means is it requires a internet connection to get access to the latest and greatest definitions in regards to detecting malware. Now there's some ups and there's some downs with cloud scanners. Uh, one of the pros being that you are connected to the latest and greatest database of anti-malware signatures out there. And there is really no need then to worry about updating because as you can see, there's no update button in this program. There is no update whatsoever, no need. Because it searches every file or every file that it detects is suspicious or it needs to look up it accesses its information in the cloud and says, "Is this file good or is this file bad?" So that's a, that's an up. That's one of the positives of a cloud scanner. One of the negatives, though, and this is a big negative in my mind, is the fact that you don't have any signatures on your computer. Now, some people are out there probably saying right now, "Well, if you don't have internet, if you don't have an internet connection, then why would you need antivirus or an anti-malware solution?" And the reason for that is, and I think I've stated this in the past, that, for example, let's say you bring your laptop somewhere where there's not internet, and your friend or somebody you don't know or somebody from your work or whatever gives you this flash drive and says, here, I need you to put this on your computer, or I need you to download this document, or here, try this new cool game, or whatever. It may be you plug in your flash, plug in their flash drive to your computer. Now your computer's infected because you ran a piece of malware off their flash drive or their flash drive has now automatically infected your computer. And your antivirus did absolutely nothing to stop it because it had no internet access to check and see if that file was good or bad, so it just let it through. Um, now granted, I believe Trend Micro does have some sort of uh, HIPS or some sort of a behavioral analysis built into it, but you're relying on that and typically those aren't exactly the best uh, today especially when it comes to a cloud scanner. Uh, there are good HIPs out there, don't get me wrong. I, that probably is bad wording right there. I mean, you definitely want good behavioral detections, but I don't anticipate Trend Micro is doing too well in this test today, uh, just from past experience. But we're gonna see, maybe it will perform well, who knows? I've never tested this latest version out. All right, enough babbling there. We'll actually start clicking around and showing you some different stuff. So let's go across the tabs first, seeing they stick out. PC Mobile. Kind of gives you some uh, options here. Uh, PC Internet Security, if we click on that, it gives you more options in regards to your PC. You can schedule a scan, uh, web threats. Uh, so it's got a web filter built into it. It has an, uh, uh, Windows Firewall Booster, basically, an active firewall booster to give Windows. So basically, it boosts your Windows Firewall. Uh, other settings, you can adjust the security levels whether you want more performance or more security, network settings, uh, smart prote uh, protection network. So, uh, and then background picture, you can change the background of the main screen here, right here if you wanted to change that. I don't really see the need for that, but it's there if you want it, it's there. Uh, privacy, you got a privacy scanner, social networking protection, data, secure erase, which is like a file shredder and then data theft uh, prevention, which I assume is something where you can put your sensitive information in there and automatically populate certain uh, forms on websites. And it's got parental controls. I've never tried those, but we're not gonna try this today. And then obviously your scan button right down here, click the little button, it gives you scan options, whether you wanna do a quick scan, full scan, or custom scan, and other settings window, of course. And then you can view a security report, tells you the threats that have been found, when they were found, and what types of threats they were. All right, so that was four minutes of talking about the program. Let's start doing some testing. Uh, we're gonna do our usual test, 10 malicious links. And I backed it down to 10 again, just because I think 15 is too much. It takes too long to do that. So we're just gonna stick with the 10 and then do our folder of malware. Got my VPN online, pretty sure of it. We'll find out though if my, uh, well, if OpenDNS starts blocking stuff. All right, uh, let's go ahead and try, we'll do this one first. Okay, so Trend Micro, as you see, was fully enabled, and we are ready to go. Oh, before we do that, though, I am going to show you Kill Switch. And let's see what Trend Micro is using currently. 
Uh, okay, good, it went down. It was upwards of 200 megabytes earlier. It was kind of high, but it went down quite a bit. So we got one, two, three, four processes it looks like running. And it looks as if maybe it's hovering around yeah, between 90 and 100 meg, which for a cloud scanner, it's kind of a lot, I think, but that's not too bad. I mean, like I said, computers nowadays, they can handle that easily. So let's go ahead, hide safe processes, and now begin the test. Link number one. Now in the past, when I have looked at Trend Micro, they had a really good web filter, but their signatures were kind of lacking in a sense. So let's go ahead this say in let's go ahead and run this one. We gotta save it as an executable. Okay. We go ahead and open it. So it looks like that one is running currently. Which is not a good sign, but okay. So it looks like it wants to install something. Uh, I had a runtime error. Okay, so it looks like it crashed. Uh, I'm going to count that as a miss because we do have a temp file here that's running in the background. So it was doing stuff to the system, had the ability to modify the system. I'm going to count that as a miss. All right, link number two. And let's do this, looks like the same one. We're going to try this one right here. Different URL, well, slightly different URL, but it looks like it might be something similar to what we just encountered. So it might be dead. We're going to move on to a different one. It's a Chinese domain. Surprised that one's dead. Unless something killed my internet. I don't think it did. We're gonna try and see. Did something kill my internet? Nope, we still have internet. Okay, so it appears as if Trend Micro has blocked this website. So account that number two is a block. And this is going to be number three. Uh, this, okay, it's a different URL. So if it's the same URL, it doesn't pay because it's going to get blocked. Okay, so that one was blocked. And Trend Micro right now is doing an excellent job. We will see if it can continue. Let's draw the tests. Okay, that one was blocked. That's the same URL. So obviously that would get blocked. Try this one here. Okay, that one was blocked. Number six. We'll do one more from Malcode here and then we're gonna try to go to a different source for a few. Nothing here, hmm. Yeah, well thank you for that um, observation there. Okay. Okay, number six was blocked. Number seven, we're gonna move on to, let's try a malware blacklist again, see if they finally updated with some uh, new malware here. And no, they still have month old malware on here. So we're definitely gonna stay away from that. Let's try VX Vault, see what we got. Uh, two new links. We're gonna try this one right here first. Then unfortunately I may have to go back to Malcode. Okay, that one was blocked, and that's really good to see because that was uh, from today. That's, zero, that's about as zero days you can get. Let's try malware domain list here, see what they have. 
not anticipating too much from them. They haven't been as good lately as uh, some of their sources. Uh, it looks like they have from the 15th. This is an exploit kit. We'll try it, just see what happens. I assume it's going to get blocked. After this, though, we are going to head back to the uh, head back to Malcode. Yep, that was dead. All right, so let's try this one. This will be number eight. Number eight appears to be uh, running. And it appears to be a video downloader. We're going to go ahead and cancel this because it's just adware and I'm not going to sit around and wait for this to download. Alright, so number eight is a miss. I'm going to count it as. Let's see what else we got. Let's try this one right here. This is number nine. All right, so that website was blocked. And this will be number 10. Try this one right here. Number 10 was also blocked. So it missed, uh, looks like two out of 10. Not bad. That is actually really good. That's really good to see. So. That was the, I'll leave this open here. So that was the uh, web analysis, quite boring in my mind, nothing really happened. Uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the zero day malware analysis here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to uncheck uh, and disable the protection here quick. Okay, uh, let's see, 30 minutes, yeah, actually plenty of time. So we're gonna disable the protection and I'm gonna extract the folder of malware here. Extract to malware. Okay. And what do we have? 526 objects. We're gonna go ahead and do a context scan with Trend Micro and see what it can find. Uh, this could take some time due to the fact that it is a cloud scanner and it has to go through each and every file and check it in the cloud. So when this is done, I will be back. All right, guys, so the scan has finished and it detected no threats. Uh, or I should say it removed all, I removed threats that it found and then did an additional scan and it found nothing. Um, one of the downfalls with this program I've noticed is that when I did a context scan, well, I guess it's not really a downfall, but I just thought I'd bring it up here. When scanning a large folder of malware with Trend Micro here, after it detects a certain amount of malicious pieces of malware basically, or samples I should say, it goes into what's called a deep scan mode or something, I forget, I don't know exactly what it's called, um, but it goes into this like intense scan, I think it's called intense scan or something like, something like that, and it starts doing an in-depth scan of your system and it takes forever and it scans like every single file on your system. Uh, so what I did is I went ahead and stopped that and unfortunately I had to sit there and scroll through the entire folder of malware uh, to basically have the real-time scanner remove it because I wasn't going to sit there and wait for the entire program to scan my entire virtual machine because that was just going to take hours to do. Um, so yeah, scan times I have to say are really slow with this program and they've always been that way ever since I've tested them yeah, in the past. But nevertheless, it's everything has been removed that it found. So we're going to go ahead and close that and see what we got left. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we have 202 pieces remaining. We started out with 526, if you remember. All right, so let's bring our, I don't know why I moved that. Keep it right over here. 526 we started out with. 
minus 202 gives us a detection of 324. We can then divide that by the starting sample of 526, which gives us 61% detection ratio. Uh, that's about average. You know, it's not really special, nothing to brag about, but you know, it, it's good enough. So what we're going to do now is our usual. We're going to take the samples that it didn't detect, and we're going to see how well Trend Micro is able to protect the system against that. Uh, before we do that, I want to make sure that we got kill switch open, and then as well the program is fully operational. Um, right now it is not. I have the real-time engine disabled. And you can also see by the time right here, it took forever. I actually went and watched some uh, TV while I was waiting for it. All right, so enable, everything is enabled. Back to the way it was, it states our system is now protected. Kill switch is open and running. I'd say processes. My virtual, or my, um, okay, good, my uh, VPN is still online. We are ready to test. So, we'll start with the first one here and work our way down. Okay, first one is running. Maybe I can talk tonight, actually. <laughs> Jeez, suspicious file blocked. There we go. Uh, this file could pose a risk to your your uh, security, so it has been blocked for your protection. Please do not open this file unless you trust the source. So it has not removed the file. Okay, there we go. Cannot be accessed, and it just crashed. Okay, but it has not removed the file. It's kind of a downfall. Um, I suppose it doesn't really want to because it's suspicious. The program doesn't know if it's good or bad, but. I mean, I really wish they'd make these a little bit more prop, but okay, suspicious file detected. It did go to that one too, and it stopped it. Okay, let's do this one. Blocked, okay. So far it's doing really good. This is actually quite a good result. Okay, that one's been blocked too, supposedly. Good. Good. Okay, this one looks like, oh, nope, there we go, suspicious file blocked. Okay. Oh, that's a shortcut, but nevertheless, it was blocked. Blocked. Let's try a bunch here, start, oops. All right, this one. Okay, so it looks like we have an application of wanted here launching. Try this one, because we did a whole bunch of those. Still nothing from Trend Micro. Okay, so it looks like it did not install, either crashed or the application uh, wasn't working. Or it was blocked, I should say. Okay, that was blocked. Blocked. Let's try this one. Sorry guys, I had to sneeze there. <laughs> Didn't want to blow up the microphone. Okay. Um, welcome to Fusion Install. Hmm. All right then. Sure, why not just Install whatever you want, you know, that's okay. This Windows 95, 2000 type of installer here. So it looks like this is gonna put a whole bunch of adware on my system. Okay, so that was blocked. We'll try about, yeah, three or four more here. Okay, that one's blocked. Let's try which one should we try? Let's try this one. This one looks this one looks like it can't do anything bad to our system. It's got a happy face there. Or an ecstatic face, I don't know. Looks pretty excited there about something. It's just about to infect his computer, of course. He's excited, right? Okay, so far this program is doing or Trend Micro is doing an astounding job at blocking zero day malware, I have to say. Okay, I think that's good right there. I think we get the, uh, the drift, and we're going to try to close this. It looks as if I cannot cancel it, and it's going to continue to download 
regardless of what I want. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to, well, you know what, we're just going to reboot because we haven't rebooted yet and I want to do that before we actually do, okay, we have an alert here, suspicious file, okay. Uh, so it looks like we have one threat and application are wanted running. So what I'm going to do is we're going to reboot the computer and we're going to do our scans with Trend Micro, quick scan with that. We're going to do a quick scan with Komodo, Malwarebytes, as well as Hitman Pro. And we'll be back with the results and a final verdict. So I will be, well, maybe not. All threats removed. Okay. Now we're going to reboot the system. Uh, did that thing get removed? I don't know. I think it might have. Part of, part of it may have gotten removed. But it still looks like it's running. Uh, however, wait. Where'd kill switch? Oh, no, I killed it. Oh, I closed it. I, never mind. All right, so we're going to reboot, and we're going to be back with the scan results. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so the scan has finished, and it detected no threats. Um, browser cookies um, deleted was three, but that's not really a big deal at all. So we're going to go ahead and close that. Take a look at Komodo here. Uh, Komodo didn't find any infections. It just found one abnormal setting which is a disabled security center. Uh, it's not exactly good, but that also could be uh, related to um, Trend Micro, the way they sometimes attach itself or incorporate itself into the Windows uh, security systems. So um, I don't think that is them. I would really doubt that they would have something that would be detected as an abnormal setting, but um, Komodo is very sensitive to stuff like that. So it could be that, but uh, nevertheless, not a huge deal, but you, know, you don't really want that to be... Um, on your system or that setting. You don't want a disabled security center. It's never a good sign. Um, so that's basically it for Komodo. Not a big deal. So let's go and take a look at Hitman Pro, or not Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes. Uh, Malwarebytes didn't find really anything either. Just found a potential unwanted program. Not a huge deal. Uh, and temp folder too. So if you were to delete your temp folder, everything would be gone. Hitman Pro. Um, Let's see, temporary internet files, and then the same thing in the temp folder. Um, not a big deal, same infection actually. So that could easily be deleted. Like I said, delete the temp folders. Uh, bottom line then, on Trend Micro Internet Security, it performed very well. Um, like I was stating earlier, it could have some signatures maybe on the system, especially being a cloud scanner it didn't perform that well in the performance category of the system speed and the speediness of the scan um, the scans especially to be expected it is a cloud scanner it has to communicate over the internet and it depends on your internet connection speed I'm using a VPN so with your internet connection your results for scan speeds will vary uh, quite drastically actually compared to just being on the system um, using signatures you, you know it's a classic virus scanner which uses signatures and it just pulls them right from your hard drive so you know that's kind of a downfall there and like I said earlier with the flash drive scenario if you don't have internet connection then you have no malware protection essentially on the other hand I did state earlier that you'd be relying on behavioral detections and Trend Micro demonstrated a very good ability on blocking uh, on its behavioral detection being able to block malware it wasn't able to detect as you witnessed when we did the zero day test after we scanned the folder it was file after file being blocked and the system is perfectly usable and pretty much clean of any infections so this program in my mind I would recommend this program uh, in the past I was actually going to use the program as my McAfee replacement I was investigating it and then I eventually found Komodo and it was free and I went to that instead due to the fact that Trend Micro is actually the same price if not more expensive than McAfee uh, I really kind of thought might as well try and get away from that. You know, why pay eighty dollars a year for an internet security suite if you can get something uh, that does an equivalent uh, job in regards to protecting your system for free? You know, that's why I went with Komodo. It's powerful and, and, and it's really in my mind I can understand it. However, it's advanced. Some users can't understand it. So, if you want to buy a program that's going to be light in the system, uh, take care of itself essentially and has a very good website, web blocking capability, very good web filter, and decent cloud signatures, I'll call it, and very good behavioral detection, then I would say Trend Micro is good for you. Um, and, and I would have to recommend it. So that's going to be it for this review. Did a very good job. Uh, highly recommended. Right up there kind of with uh, Komodo and MCSoft in a sense. So it didn't, didn't keep the system 100% clean, but... It kept it functional and only let a few things through, but minor infections, mostly adware, or actually all adware, 
So did a very good job. Recommend it. So all right. Talk to you guys later and see you next time.